Good morning Year 12, hope you're feeling well today. Today we're going to be tying up everything we've done with integration so far and we're going to be looking at mixed exercise 13. So what I want to do is just take us back to indefinite integration, okay, because we've been focusing on definite integration over the last few lessons. So first of all, just having a little look at this example, I've got brackets here, I want to get this into a format that I can integrate easily, so I'm just going to open up the bracket. times 3 is 9. Because we are multiplying these x terms here, I'm going to do a third plus a third is two thirds plus 3x to the power of a third times 4 is going to be 12x to the power of a third. I've got two of them here because I'm going to multiply this as well. So that's going to give me 24x to the power of a third plus 4 times 4 is 16. Right, so I've now expanded that into something I can work with. So now, if I integrate with respect to y, I just need to integrate this, okay? So I'm going to add 1 to my 2 thirds, which gives me 5 thirds. Now, I'm going to take the reciprocal of this, so 3 fifths and times that by 9. So 9 times 3 is 27, divided by 5, gives me 27 over 5, plus 1 third plus 1 gives me 4 thirds. The reciprocal of 4 thirds is 3 quarters. So I'm going to times that by 24. So 3, so three times 24 divided by 4 is going to be 6 times 3, which is 18, plus 16x, plus, don't forget the C. Okay, so that's that question done. Last example, before I let you loose on mixed exercise chapter 13. Mrs. B is hopping along the corridor, and her distance is given by the derivative of t equals 6 plus 3t, where t is the time of seconds, and look what this means. This means when t is 0, the function is 0. Okay, This is key Okay, into finding what c is later. So first of all, find an expression for the function of t. All we've got to do is integrate this. So I'm looking here, 6t plus t squared, divide that by t, plus c, okay? Now, we don't know what plus c is yet, but this is our clue. We know that when t is 0, the function is 0, so we just substitute it in. So 0 equals 6, 0 plus 
3 half of 0 squared plus c. When you work that all out, 0 equals 0 plus 0, so therefore c equals 0. So if we rewrite our function now, it will just be the function of t equals 6t plus 3 halves of t squared. You don't need to write our zero in. Okay, so next part of the question. Find how long it takes Mrs. B to hop 7.5 metres. Let's get some more water. Boom. Right. So, what we need to do here, we have got our function here, and we know that the distance is 7.5 metres. So let's just pop that in. So I'm going to do 7.5 equals 6t plus 3.5t squared. Okay, I don't really like that half day, so I'm going to multiply everything, or three halves there, I'm going to multiply everything by two. Keeping the equation balanced. Now I can see I'm going to divide everything by three. And if I rewrite that like this, what have I got? A nice little quadratic. So I can now solve that. means my time in seconds is either 1 or minus 5 seconds. I know that I can't have minus 5 seconds, so my answer is going to be t equals 1 second. Not bad going, eh? Right, so can you guys please crack on with exercise, exercise 13, mix exercise. Any questions, please, please just send me an email. I'm here to help, okay? Have a great day, guys. Bye!